Hello, Gallo. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we will get started as soon as a member of the media raises their hand. And it looks like we've got a question for you now from Sarah. Hey, Danilo. Um, just, I'm curious just what the kind of vibe and mood is in the locker room after winning eight straight. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, we are, we are happy. Um, it was, uh, I think that uh, especially psychologically, it's always good to get the first uh, win on a road trip like this. So it's, uh, you know, uh, we are happy, but you know, at the same time, we, you know, today is a good day to enjoy this win, but on tomorrow, we, we need to think about the next, the next game, you know? Christos. Danilo, come stai? Bene, grazie. Great. What was the biggest statement of that win tonight? And uh, how important is to build on that victory about the rest of the road trip? I think uh, we did. A, we played a, a solid game throughout the whole game. We had a, a good, solid fourth quarter, uh, even when they were able to uh, uh, come back a little bit and the lead went from 11 or 13 to five or seven, we were able to make the right play. So it was a, you know, it was a good solid win. Uh, of course, they didn't have their uh, main players, but uh, you know, these are games that uh, always gives you, give you confidence and, and you need to win. And the follow up, how different was that game tonight without LeBron in the second half? I mean, of course, it's, it's different uh, without him, without AD. Uh, you know, of course, they are a different, different team. So, uh, but at the same time, you know, the, every all the players that you know stepped up on their hand are all you know veterans, NBA players with experience, and you know, uh, guys that won championships. So, uh, I would say it's, a, it's a, anyway a very good win. <clears throat> Next question. I apologize if I mispronounced your name, but is uh, I think Jacopo from Italy. Yeah, thank you. Uh, ciao Danilo. And uh, oh. I wanted to ask you about uh, this uh, eight series you're going through and uh, what is the big uh, difference maker here? Uh, you had a good schedule, you had uh, obviously the the coach change but uh, you know for you for uh, for rondo getting more playing time what is the big difference between the first part of the season and this uh, streak um i think that our our chemistry of course is uh, is better we have uh, uh you know roles and the way that we want to approach the game and the way that we are that we prepare the game is very clear to everybody uh um, I'm, you know, of course, when you win, and I was saying this even at the beginning when we were not winning, you know, I was always saying that when you win two, three, four in a row and you get that confidence, uh, you know, you, you, have, uh, you, have, you have moments like this, stretches like this in the season. So hopefully we can, you know, it's still the long season. Uh, we're still going to go to ups and downs. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, like I said, it's good to start the road trip with, uh, with the win. And a follow up, uh, uh, what do you think is the big uh, uh, thing that you're doing for the team right now? What's going good for you and what you have to improve now? Uh, I think that, you know, is uh, the main thing for me is just to uh, to be vocal on the core, bring the uh, leadership offensively and defensively and just try to be vocal and help everybody out. That's my first uh, job. And then, of course, uh, uh, you know, we, I'm in a very good rhythm right now. Uh, we are playing very good basketball. The ball is moving. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody, you know, is getting touches and is getting, uh, you know, at the right, the ball at the right time with the right timing, which, uh, you know, is, uh, it was not very good at the beginning, but now we are getting better with that. Thank you. Kevin Chenard. Hey, Danilo. Um, I know a lot of the young guys on this team, like Trey and John, have never been through a win streak like this. Uh, when in your career have you have you been through something like this? Uh, my third year in Denver, we we tied the franchise record with the 15, 15 games in a row. Uh, 
So that was the my the most that I won was uh, 15 in a row. But eight eight is not bad. <clears throat> Final question from Leonardo. Danilo to Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Danilo, what did you feel when you saw LeBron injury on the floor? Um, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't see what happened. I didn't even see the replay, so I don't know what kind of injury he has. Um, uh, but, you know, when, when a team lose a, you know, a player like that, of course, uh, you need to uh, even, you know, you need to, you know, catch that opportunity and you need to make sure that you win, you win that game. Uh, but the game, uh, the way that we approach the game is, you know, is always the same with or without LeBron against them. They have uh, so many good players that uh, you need to be focused <clears throat> for 48 minutes. But of course, like I said before, it's, it's a different team when they are missing uh, LeBron and AD. Thank, Thank you, you Gallo. That was our final question for you. Thank you. All right, everybody, we should have.